All right, so here's a little quick and dirty Python tutorial. Um, so if I hit Control right a few times, I'll go to the scripting layout, just like doing it that way. Here's the problem. Let's say, and this works. This is going to work in Blender internal as well as cycles. Let's say you have a texture and you have a material here, and you have a series of textures on it. And one is a regular sort of clouds texture and one is an image texture but for some reason we don't actually assign an image to it and another one is a for real image texture that zoom well, that actually has an image assigned to it let's use swamplers based code all right so we have three different textures here now in blender internal you can always see the full path for your texture no matter what. So if you move files around, your paths get jacked up, you can always see where they're going to. However, in cycles, there's no texture node, there's no texture thing, and even as far as texture nodes go, let's go to our node editor. Where's my node editor? There it is. Go to the node editor and choose textures, and I say I'm going to use nodes. Even in here, you know, if this is a image texture, image I load the image and I'm just reuse the base color one the problem even if I do that the problem here is that there's no way to see the path here there's no clean way of doing it not even over here or, or any of these sort of fields so it's it's really just kind of painful and annoying so I'm going to switch back to blender render because that's just what we're using here. I'm going to open up our 3D view just because I like looking at it. So, going back here, we have our three different textures. And, oh, I seem to have made some adjustments here. This is an image texture again. There we go. All right, so we have the path and the image texture, blah, blah, blah. Now, I want to go through, and just for consistency, or not consistency, just to make things sort of prove that I'm doing it right, let me make another image texture. And we'll open up another Swampler texture. Let's say his, I don't know, diffuse map, second diffuse map. Goody. All right, so we've got these two textures, a blank empty image texture, and that. And I want to find out where the paths are for all of these textures. Enter Python, because Python is awesome. So we're just basically going to cycle through all of the textures that exist in Blender in this .blend file and print out the uh, to screen what their paths are. It's a simple for loop basically. So if I do for texture, texture is just a generic name. I can call it, you know, Frank or Bob or Jeeves. It doesn't matter. Um, but texture makes the most sense. <laughs> in bpy.data.textures, that's all of the textures in your .blend file. So it's going to loop through all of them. Now, I tab in because Python is very sensitive about that. So once I do the colon, I tab in and I say, if that texture has a property in it called image, so in dir texture. So dir texture basically says, look in texture, is there an image property for it? That means that filters out this bad boy who is obviously not an image texture, it's a procedural. And texture.image is not none. What that means is that filters out this one here who's an image, but it has no real image there. So if that's not the case, then what we want to do, tab twice because we've gone in two times here, print, oop, come here, there we go, texture.name, little formatting happiness, and texture.image.filepath. I could type today, it'd be really nice. So we do that, hit enter, enter. Oh, what happened there? Well, the problem is for texture in BPI data dot textures. Down, down. Aha! So this is the script that you want to use. Texture one, texture two, that gives me our two little textures. Good to go. Um yeah, so yeah, I had one little typo there, but basically, that's how I can list. If I had, you know, a dozen more, let's not make a dozen more, but you get the idea. 
image. I'll open another one. More swamp floor textures. That's his ambient occlusion texture. And image. Now open another one. Oh, let's say it's normals. All right, so we got a handful of different textures here. These two bums up here that don't do anything, and, and these check marks don't matter, by the way. Um, even if I disable that one, and I run the script again, so for texture and bpy data dot textures down down. Now I have all four textures and all the paths to all of them, and it even changes if I take this and I say, um, well, I can't do relative paths because I haven't saved this file, but that's basically how it works. This is the script you want to use for texture and bpy data dot textures colon tab if quote image in dirt texture and texture dot image is not none tab tab print the texture name a colon and a space and then the file path for that name texture name colon space file path. All right, that's a a real real quick and nasty on how to do this. Hopefully, it makes some sense. If it doesn't. Sorry, uh, make a note in the comments and tell me what I did wrong.